Okay, now let's do it then. Um, so let's start with step one. We know what step one is. Step one is closing revenues. Uh, my question to you would be, well, we know where revenues is. My question to you would be, do we debit or credit sales revenue? Try to type it in the chat. It's a 50-50 guess if you don't know. Do we debit or credit? To give everyone enough time, so far I see two answers, two options. It's going to be either debiting or crediting, right? Knowing those rules is super important also for your adjusting entries. So take this opportunity to practice that. Okay? So let's take a look at it. What do we know so far? Revenues holds a credit balance of 16,500. What do we want to do? What is our goal? With closing entries, we are resetting the accounts. In other words, we want our revenue account to be zero. How do we do that? Well, we need to put the same amount, 16,500, on the opposite side. It has a credit balance. We want to get rid of that. So we have to debit for the same amount. That's how you lower an account. Does that make sense? Let's look at one more example on how to increase or decrease an account outside of this uh, closing entry step. Let's say I have... Um, Let's do prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance has 1500 in debit balance. If I want to uh, make this zero, I have to credit prepaid insurance for the same 1500. That's how to lower an account. How do we increase it? How we put it on the same side. So let's say I want to increase cash by 5000. Cash as a debit balance. So I debit cash for 5,000. That's how to increase or decrease an account. Great. So we have our revenues at zero now. Amazing. However, uh, we can see that the entry is not in balance yet. And we are using something called double entry bookkeeping. Uh, in other words, debit is equal to credit. So we need to put something on the credit side. I already saw it a few times in the chat. This is where that income summary comes in. So we credit our income summary for 16,500. Amazing. Step one is done. Let's go to step two. Uh, so what's our next step? We want to get rid of our expenses. Right? So how do we do that? Do we debit or credit these expenses? That's kind of a test if uh, I wasn't on mute before. And if it's clear or not. Do we debit or credit these expenses? Very good. Very good. These accounts hold the debit balance. We want to get rid of them, so we credit them for the same amount. Once again, we are resetting these accounts. If you still find the concept difficult, uh, maybe another way to look at it is that these are all revenues and expenses for 2023. Let's just say that. 2024 is starting. And I want to have these accounts ready 
so I can put in the expenses for 2024 for the next year. Maybe that's another way to look at it, uh, preparing these accounts for the new year. Might help, maybe not, but uh, you could also look at it in that way. So we know we need to credit these expenses. It's going to be a long list. Yeah, that's the only downside. Um, but make sure to, to separate those. Yeah, we want all these individual accounts to be at zero. You can just copy the numbers. Indeed, I saw it in the chat as well. We need to debit something. This is where we debit income summary. How do we get to this value? It's just the summary of all of the expenses. You can just uh, plus these. No crazy calculation. That's step two already done. Okay. Um, what's going to be next? It's going to be next is that we're going to summarize this and we're going to transfer it to retained earnings. Uh, yeah. So what has happened in my income summary account? The following. We've added our revenues to income summary. We've added our expenses. And after this step, income summary holds a credit balance of, I think it was 7,760. I believe. 7,660. You need to be able to interpret what a credit or debit balance in the income summary account means. I've seen that on past midterms and I've also seen in groups uh, in the previous years that interpreting what a credit or a debit balance of income summary is uh, can be quite difficult. Now you have some guidance here, but if we see that there's a credit balance in income statement, did I make a profit or a loss? That's the uh, most important thing. 